You like wings? Great. You like buttered chicken? Great. Now marry. Hi, I'm Joshua Weissman, and I am in the Food 52 studio. Today we're making butter chicken paws wings. So we're gonna be deep frying our wings for a beautifully crispy, crunchy exterior, juicy interior, and a nice velvety, rich butter chicken sauce. It's fragrant, it's sweet, it's salty. It's everything you want on a wing. I feel like this has always belonged on a wing. So that's why we're doing it. If you don't know what butter chicken is, it's a very common, probably one of the most favorited, beloved Indian curries I can think of. It's one of my personal favorites, and why is it called butter chicken? I want you to just think about that for a second. Correct because there's butter in it. <laughs> Who'd have thunk? We have two iterations of butter. This is butter, this is called ghee, also known as clarified butter. It just has the milk solids removed, it's higher temperature cooking. This is what we want for the sauteing process. We have our pan at medium heat, we're gonna let this melt down, I want it hot. This is a little trick with this sauce. You could color the veg and get it caramelized and dark. I actually want a more lighter, sweet, vegetable flavor. So I'm gonna add this right now, before it's hot. So it's not gonna sizzle when it goes in. Oh Josh, that's wrong. It's supposed to sizzle, right? The, the chef told me. No, there's a lot of ways to do things. And if you think that there's one thing to do it, you're probably wrong. Matter of fact, you are wrong. Okay, onion goes in, ginger goes in, garlic goes in, salt. This is gonna help the vegetables sweat. Again, I don't want a lot of color. I want that water to come out as soon as possible. And we're just gonna let that cook. There we go, now it's quieted down, shh, it's okay. So you know how mirepoix is basically, you know, it's the base of so many sauces in French cooking. You have onion, carrot, celery. Onion, garlic, and ginger is the mirepoix to this sauce. We cook this down for like three to five minutes. You're not looking to obliterate these or get char on them. All I want is I want your onions to be softened. It's on the verge of getting color, but not quite. And at that point, we'll loosen them from the pan. Keep the heat around medium-ish, medium-high. We're gonna add our spices. So we have cashmere chili going in, cumin going in, garam masala going in, and finally cumin. Coriander, coriander sorry. That, that, was, that was coriander. I don't know. I, I said, you know, it's a, whatever, it's fine. Saute it. You'll notice that we had excessive amount of oil, but the reason we did that was that oil combines with the spice to make a paste that will then toast. Immediately when that goes in the pan, you can smell them, it's fragrant. It's enriching this sauce. And at this point, we want to intensify the flavor. So you want to cook down that spice, get it nice and roasty toasty, but don't burn it. You burn it, you gotta throw it away. Matter of fact, you gotta, you gotta go in the corner. You just stay in the corner for the rest of the day. Look at you. Thank you, stay in the corner. You'll know this is done, obviously, when the spices are intensifying, but once they've started to turn just a shade darker, don't go any further. At that point, you're gonna add just a, a light amount of sugar. Just, this is gonna bring out some sweetness. It's gonna help cut the bitterness of these spices. You're gonna deglaze with chicken stock. Should immediately boil. Scrape the brown bits from the bottom and reduce this down just a little bit. Then we're gonna add in our crushed tomatoes. Now I pour this a little bit into my spoon when I'm pouring into the pan. You ever pour something just splatters everywhere? <laughs> you got something to hit before it hits this. It's like a little waterfall. So while our sauce is going, we're gonna prep our chicken wings. We gotta get ahead on that. We're doing two things at once, right? That's how you move fast. So you can do them whole. You could do them like this. That's nice, it looks nice. But I like to split mine, okay? They cook more evenly, they cook more quickly, and they get crispier. To split a wing, I know what most people are thinking. Oh my God, I have to fabricate protein. You can do it and I believe in you. So, sharp knife, ideally a small one. I'm not gonna give you the whole anatomy lesson. Let me just make a quick point. You really only need to worry about one joint and it's right here. So you can see this sort of triangular shape and it's leading directly to that joint. So we're gonna cut in between that to reveal it, all right? Now there's nothing in the way. To simplify finding this joint, call it barbaric or not, you're just gonna snap it, okay? And it's, it is what it is, that's it. See, it's not so bad. Now you can see the joint and you just cut in between that joint. And you have two pieces of chicken. You can take the wing tip off, well, it gets crispy, it's something to nibble on. It's a little extra, you know? That's one. Now we have to do the rest. You know, your butcher can do this for you too, by the way. Just as a, maybe you don't, maybe you don't wanna do this. I don't know. I don't know who you are. All right, chicken's here. The doctor will see you. With these, these need to cure a little bit in the salt. So the salt has time to penetrate. The salt has time to just get these flavors married and extract water from the wings, which is what I want. It's gonna firm up the protein. So salt goes in, a little bit of ground pepper and fresh grated ginger. 
You literally just toss that together. That's it. You toss it together and you let it sit. Whether it's five minutes or 24 hours, the longer you let it go, the more flavor. Sorry guys, this sound is not the most luxurious. It is what it is. Look, I do it with the glove because now, I don't need to wash my hands, dude. This just goes in the trash. And this goes in the fridge. All right, our sauce is reduced. Now we need to blend it. So I'm gonna blend this on high speed until as smooth as possible. Then we're gonna return it to the pan. Ah! Okay, we're done. So we have our blended, almost done butter chicken sauce that's gonna go into our sauce pan. Look, you don't have to blend this, by the way, if you don't want to, but Blending it makes it smooth. Blending it helps it cling. Blending creates an emulsion. I'm gonna heat this bad boy back up. We're gonna add our heavy cream and some nice dried fenugreek. And a lot of the time when you leave out fenugreek, there's almost something missing and you're like, what's missing in my sauce? That, that, it's a key element. It just adds like a fragrance and a certain flavor quality that you would expect in this curry. So I'm gonna mix the cream into that and now we're gonna reduce it one more time. Fun fact, cream isn't just to make things creamy. It's also an emulsifier. It helps create an emulsified environment, which is really the whole point of this sauce. The more emulsified, the better. It's gonna cling to your wings. It's gonna have that nice velvety quality to it. So once you've reduced this for a couple of minutes, this is what it should look like. It's velvety, it's thickened, it's smooth, it looks nice. But what is it missing? It's missing our butter of the butter chicken. This is the richness. This is the finisher. So you want your butter to be ice cold. You want a slow release of this into the sauce. I'm cutting this into small pieces just so it emulsifies a bit better. So I'm doing like little chunks. Butter, I'm gonna add a little bit of it, not all of it. I'm gonna cut the heat off, no boiling at all. I want this to emulsify in the sauce. We're mounting the sauce with butter. You're gonna continuously stir and mix and toss. And once, you can start to see it turning a little bit creamier, a little bit lighter. Once the majority of that butter is emulsified in, we're gonna add a little bit more. The butter is also gonna help thicken this. If you're doing this right, it should get thicker, it should get creamier, it should get velvetier. If it looks like it's splitting, you probably didn't cut the heat off and you broke the sauce. And guess what? You can bring it back together by blending it again. You're welcome. There's one trait about butter chicken that everybody loves. It's not just the flavor, it's how creamy, how luxurious it is. And that's what this chapter of my cookbook is about. It's about creaminess, it's about how that contributes an element of luxury, an element of just quality, high level flavor, but it's also soft, it's special. So we added our last bit of butter, we're stirring, we're emulsifying, and then you're gonna adjust seasoning. So once this is emulsified, we need to taste it. Always taste your sauce. You have an opportunity now to maximize its flavor. Adjust salt levels to taste. Let's see, Let's see where we're at. You know, I, I always get a little weirded out whenever people are cooking around me and they're like You literally just take a little bit and a little dab on the top of your fist, needs a little more salt. See, somehow that's just less gross because then I'm not putting my fingers back in there. Okay, now our sauce is seasoned. It's done, onto the wings. So our wings have released moisture, which will bind to this cornstarch. So we're gonna add a little bit of cornstarch to the wings. We got our fry oil over here. It's a little bit lower temperature. We're gonna par fry these first. It's a double fry. So you can use your hands, you can use a spoon, just toss them. Yeah, I'm just gonna use my hands, it's easier. All right. Make sure to coat every single part of this wing. I don't want any bald spots. Once they're coated, they're gonna go in to the oil in batches. I would say probably two to three batches. Carefully lay them in and lay away from you. Don't lay towards you. You lay towards you, you get splash hot oil all over your face. Then you gotta go to the hospital and that sucks. All right, that should be good. So our wings are par fried, meaning they're cooked all the way through. They have a dry crust. You can see the dry crust. And this is the secret to real crispy wings. We're gonna increase the heat. It's about 25 to 40% higher of a temperature. Then we're gonna put them back in. We're gonna fry them again, and then we sauce. So while we're waiting for the oil to come up, a lot of the time you got all these little solids in here, you could leave them in there, but I like to have clean oil. So instead of straining the oil, if you have one of these, a fine mesh skimmer, which is usually for skimming scum off the top of a stock, you can use that. So I'm gonna create a bit of a whirlpool. 
by going one direction. See this scooping motion? And you're just gonna keep doing that. The oil is going one way, you're picking up pieces, it's getting cleaner, it's getting cleaner. You take it out and you have all this, right? That goes off, everything's now whirlpooled in the center, one final scoop in the center, and you get the rest of the fine bits. The oil is clean. And we're gonna add our wings back in. It's gonna be loud, but that's good. All right, our wings are done, they're crispy. I call it GBD, golden brown delicious. You know that color where you just see it and you're like, damn, that. And it should be crisp, it should sound crisp, it should feel crisp, they, listen. Okay, that's crisp. So pull them out, let them drain a little bit into the bowl. So, while these are hot, you want to immediately toss them. I always season at every stage of cooking, even if it's a little bit, okay? So our sauce is gonna go in, sauce goes on, a little bit around the bowl. And on the wings, we bit of salt, and we toss. You wanna coat every little square inch. You can also use a spoon to get in there if you don't wanna make a mess on yourself like I am, it's fine. And they're nice and coated, get our plate. Make them look nice. Oh, they feel crispy, I can just tell. All right, and then optionally, you can garnish it, make it look a little pretty, add some fresh, Cilantro, honestly, you could add any herb you want. I think cilantro suits this. And you have butter chicken wings, which I really wanna eat right now, <laughs> like really bad. Look at this, this is perfect. It's the creamy quality of this that makes it great, the butter chicken sauce, which is what my cookbook is all about. And don't forget to get it, it's in, well, it's available everywhere the books are sold. Only one thing left to do, this. I love how well the sauce clings to it as well. This isn't going anywhere. There's barely any on the plate. It's all on the wing. You ever pick up a wing and it drips all over the place? That's not gonna happen. On this nice marble, nah. I don't know if you can hear it, but the crunch of the skin is incredible. This is actually two textures in one. It's crunchy and it's creamy. It's like rich in spice. It's, it's like very a light tinge of spicy. It could be even spicier if you wanted to add more cashmere chili. You really pick up the high qualities of the fragrance of a butter chicken. You can literally taste the butter emanating from this wing. It's everything you can want in a wing sauce. Now, while these wings are from my book, don't forget to check out these wings that were tossed in a hibiscus barbecue sauce. That sounds badass. Did I say that?